You, you've come to Canada a lot. You said you get searched every time. Every single time. They Free Steve 2023. Free Steve. <laughs> What's yeah. up, boys? Can you see that? Yeah, let's go make sure it's not on fire. Good morning, everyone. Well, it's morning for us. Uh, we are about to hit the road for the next stop of the LZ World Tour, Canada. This is our first time going to drive in Canada. I haven't been to Canada. I've only been to Canada once when I was like, 19 for a skate park thing it was amazing and now we get to go back i've seen a lot of canadian love online and we're very very excited to meet our canadian subscribers uh but for now we got the coupe and the e36 loaded up we didn't have much time to prep the cars but they're great uh tom's with us uh front street tom is with us right here with his his s13 <laughs> and uh, front street josh is also on his way up but he's coming a little bit behind but uh it's not too bad it's like a nine hour drive it's really not bad, especially compared to some of the events we've done uh, in the past. I'm not too worried about yeah, it. Yeah, this will be easy. <laughs> as long as they let the boys do the border. I'm a little suspicious about RJ. If I was border control, I'd pull him out of the other car too. So, <laughs> I, I wanted to do another video on the E36 before we left because we had good momentum. But as soon as we finish the weekend off, we'll get back to the E36. But for now, Spoon, you ready? It's good. Ready. Ready. But for now, let's hit the road and uh, get the camera. How you guys hanging out? Good? Chilling. Chilling? Stevie sleepy? Yeah. I'm up right now, but I definitely was sleepy. You know the Steve. How the boys doing? Living life. Luxury back here. Boys are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Round them up, bro. Round them up. Let's hit the road. The Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get to Canada. Yeah, what you have, bud? Canadian haircut, haircut fork in Canada. We're seeing how this border. Uh, we're talking, yeah. We're talking about the possibilities of what could happen at the border. Hold out of the car. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's all Steve's fault. I've done this before. It's gone good and bad for me several times. <laughs> no buses. Back in the truck. We're about to go over the Canadian border. Y'all nervous? Absolutely. Steve, you said you, you've come to Canada a lot. You said you get searched every time. Every single time they pull me out. So let's go. I'm curious though, because you know, we have, you know, two vehicles and all this stuff. So we got a lot of shit. It's Prepare either going to work. In my bag. Chill out. <laughs> it's either going to work against us or for or us. Or for like, us, yeah. Like, uh -huh. Or also, a lot of people have came through already for this event. So maybe they're like, ah, I've seen it already. Yeah, we'll see. All right, yeah. yeah. I'll be good. We're getting pulled out, trust me. Yeah, you think so? Trust me, Dottie. And I'm not even being negative. I'm very positive, but they're gonna be like, all right, guys, get out. <laughs> so, well, they pulled just you out. But yeah, I, sure, know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know, Jordy. I'd, you'd be the first one I'd pat down. I've been flagged before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. $15 US and all right, this is, this, is, this is just a toll we have to pay. This isn't Border Patrol. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks a little loose over here. Beautiful gem. Look at the falls. Yeah, you can't even see them. Yeah, we could have stopped. No, you can see them. That's, good. That's a big ass waterfall. That's good enough for me. Dude, that hangover thing is so sick. All right, we're here. Let's see what happens. They're deaf searching RJ. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six years? Did you get sent back? In Ottawa a long, long time ago. They asked, and they just asked a million questions about why we're here. Are we getting paid to be here? Or like, have you bring anything over? And uh, of course, right when they sent us off, Stevie has to go in and talk. <laughs> transporting us, uh, legally transporting a Steve. He asked you if you've ever been kicked out of the country, and he was so, so confused when you said that you haven't been before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
That's it, no, he asked me if I was ever turned away at the border, which I was one time. One time. But it was a mistake. I came back the next morning and they let me in. That's fine. And then I came 20 times after yeah. that. Yeah. But I, I knew this was going to happen. You're on the list, Steve. I told you. Black toast. Too, they're, you're too handsome. Stealing all, the, stealing all their women. It is what it is. <laughs> the, the magical do rag will take care of it all. Did they give me back your uh, passports? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready for this. Free, guys. free Steve 2023. Free Steve. I'll be out. Let's get out of here, man. This place gives me the heebie jeebies. You beat, you beat the case? Beat the case. Free Steve 2023. For real. He asked me if I was going to where we're staying. I'm not going to say the name of where we're staying. Uh, if I was going to marry my cousin there, I guess that's where. <laughs> People go to marry their cousins. He no was like being, way. He was being funny though. But no way you man, said that. Man, Border Patrol, they're jokes, man. I don't Let's know how. This <laughs> place gives me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> First stop in Canada, uh, Vibrant. I guess they're based out of Canada, which is pretty cool. I did not know that. Um, they are throwing like a pre-meet party thing, I guess. Vibrant after dark. It sells gonna be some pretty cool cars there. I'm excited because there's probably gonna be a lot of S15s. Love that, and all, a lot of the boys that we're driving with this weekend are here. So we get to see the homies that we don't get to see very often, and uh, see some new faces, some cool cars. So, yeah, there's already some pretty cool stuff here. Let's say. himself what's up guys <laughs> straight from motherland japan let's go for it's already ready I'm for so fall ready. Matsuri too yes yeah. <laughs> so fall Sam, Matsuri's gonna be wild Sam actually has a pretty cool car which i'm excited because usually you always get shafted with the power yeah this one you got plenty of power so. yeah we got plenty of power yeah yeah should be fun Love done him. a lot of ties big money big money <laughs> <laughs> really do you see him front street austin front street austin <laughs> <laughs> Event pre meets or are, are sick. Remember the, the pre meet at Final Bout and then this? Yeah, it's insane. Pre meets are good. I wish you had undergo, it would be cool. I wish I had undergo, yeah. <laughs> JZS 15. Nothing beats it. Wow, get in, look at this thing. That's a good spoiler. Looks familiar. It looks familiar, yeah. I think clean it. You see that? That's what, that's what we're missing right there. Next. Yeah. Coming soon. Remember our last Canada trip? Yeah, it's been a long time. I know. That was a great trip. The first time I ever left the country was was with Adam. That was it, the first time? Yeah. Remember it, you yelled at me because I waited until the last second to get my passport? So that trip, it was it's like one of the coolest things I feel like we ever did because like, that was the first event we did and like mm -hmm. we sold out the skate park. All I remember is like, not not you. Yeah. You were you were on the same page as me, but like we played dad hardcore that trip. Hardcore. So it was really hard to like be a kid because <laughs> yeah. we were playing dad for everyone else. So bad. We bought a bunch of friends with us, and me and Adam had to be the adults. But that it's funny though, because like looking back, it's almost identical to like what we're doing now. Yeah. Just on like a way smaller scale. It was sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was with Adam in Poland like what three days ago. Well, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's it. Hello. Big Honda guy. Huge Honda. Guy. Look at that. It's so cool. It's so cool. Look at the pipe work. Adam's got his blue E36, so we can, we can finally do an E36 battle, which is dope. This thing's a weapon. But... I'll steal some of his tires. We could. LZ brought his F15 to Canada. That was a. <laughs> That was a move up. I know, it's crazy. It already was in the country, stop. <laughs> Such a good car, dude. Such a good car. And then Josiah's fresh build, his Corvette. This thing is wild. If you guys haven't seen this on the FDF YouTube channel, Josiah literally got to go full nerd on this entire chassis. From mounting every single switch from the front to the rear, nothing is not thought about. Like everything has a purpose. If you're, if you're into well-planned race car shit, 
please go watch the FDF series on this grill. It is incredible. Josiah is something else. ITB S52. Is S52? S or S52? S52. So as you guys know, the E30 is an ITB S52. He did it a little bit differently. So with my kit, I do S54 ITBs with a small adapter. He has an RHG kit, which uses, I think it's a smaller ITB, but it uses longer runners, so it'll probably produce a little more torque than mine. But uh, it feels great, doesn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. dude, it's like E46 M3s, no problem. Nothing. <laughs> like nothing, right? That's cool, I love to see it. Just so proper. Duh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 whole squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, boys? Yeah, Jimmy, good day, Jimmy, boys Jimmy, here. Jimmy. Fire with the hood on. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. 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 Um, the flywheel I put on the car is eight pounds lighter. Wow. So it goes, hot, hot. It's so good. E36 maybe? Race car shit? E36 next? Nice. nice radium setup. So if you're wondering what I did before I came to a Jimmy, I built these. Just like this. All drag Honda Nitro. My spoon. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a spork. Um, a spork. It's a spork. Another guy we were in Poland with like 40 years. Yeah. We're international now. Congratulations, by the way, by throwing um, the world's greatest trip event, by the way. Uh, I still haven't had time for the Spoon enjoyed it. That's all. We, we did it for Spoon. We said if he enjoys it, <laughs> he was the benchmark. Yeah. And he went, and he, he, and what halfway through the event, he went, and we were like, it's good. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this was sick. Met some really cool people, saw some really cool builds, and you know what? It's like a little bit of bonus round. But let's get, we have an hour to Airbnb. It's pretty late already. Let's get back, go to sleep, and practice tomorrow. Well, we're in Canada. No Dunkin' Donuts. We got Timmy's. Jim Hortons. Welcome. Come on, you can't write this stuff. It don't get more Canadian. You than can't that, write huh? this stuff. <laughs> this looks good. I know every Canadian DM me told me to try Tim's. It's good. The wrap, game over. Solid. Bagel, good. Spoon? I don't know. Get in there. Out. That looks delectable. That looks good. Jimmy Hortons. Jim Hortons. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a crazy angle. Here's a nice paper straw for you. Piss you off. <clears throat> that was pretty good. All right, Timmy slaps. Whatever. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Do spoon doubled up. Don't worry. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the track, Toronto Motorsport Park, right? Is that the name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a drag strip, <laughs> roller what a bang, course. What a bang. Yeah, man. Yeah, whole crew up here. Going to Vietnam. Let's unload and check the track out. <laughs> Quick driver's meeting time before we can go out for practice. So. Gonna learn the lay of the track, figure out the do's and don'ts, and. Uh, have some fun. It's so flat, you can't really even tell what the, the shape of the track is just yet, so. All we know is there's a entry against the wall, which is pretty sick. Not at a wall, which is nice, so this way we can kind of easily pick how close we want to be to it versus trying to dive at it, so. Let's go pay attention and have some fun. We'll go through all the judging, we'll go through how everything works, qualifying everything. Today is just get in the cars, learn the line, make sure your car is working, have some fun. Keep safe and then make sure your car survives for the weekend. Get up on the front wheel, stopping the lead car for being first zone the right on the wall. And the easiest part to know where this clipping zone is is there's a big, massive green container behind it. The zone, 
It's bigger than it looks. Dangerous part will hit the wall and actually goes. Literally 360 your way down. Double strip, you're then you're gonna go to it, and then it's gonna lead it. You're gonna cut the line and just hit that. Exactly. Exactly. Top line. Exactly. Exactly. Second zone is like a little touch and go right here. You're in it, you're out it. So if you miss it, you miss it. There's no making up for it. So. Yeah, the first corner is big. <sighs> Did the grass. You wanna hop on here, Bobby? It's actually gonna be fast, like the boys thought it'd be slow, but this is gonna be, this is fourth gear. Good, keep it thin. Huh, I did not bring enough tires, that's not true. No panic. I did not think it was this big of a track. This is sick. Outer, outer, and then, finish. right here, the inner. Yeah. That is the finisher. Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. There you go, that makes sense. Inner, it's an outer. Oh, f no, I'm gonna need a lot more tires. It's gonna be fast track, right? I'm way more comfortable in the coupe, especially since I just got the drive at final bout recently. The E36, we had the one day at Lime Rock, but Lime Rock is a really easy, just really fast track. So today will be like the real big testing day for the E36. We're gonna be putting it in a more faster transitional spot, which is where the car lacked before, right? So we know it has the power now. Uh, we're gonna try and get some more grip into it, and we're gonna show she does. And luckily I have today to get used to the chassis again. Um, that's the only downfall about jumping around so many different cars, like, you don't get really used to one car, but I'm honestly really excited to get some more seat time in this thing and have some fun. So let's go out and try not to use too many tires. And the only thing I'm worried about is that first zone because there's not really uh, much buffer zone on this car, especially since we don't have the rear bumper on because we just we forgot that I completely destroyed it. So when I'm getting near the wall, I'm not hitting any fun plastic or fiberglass parts. I'm hitting metal. We'll see. All right, first lap out. First lap out is just kind of feeling the car, of course, and getting an idea on the gearing. I'd like to say it's a third gear track, but it really might be fourth, and that's wild. So, we shall see. Look at this crazy chicane. The car feels quite loose, but that might just be the fact that it has a launch of power. <laughs> and we're only on 300 treadwear tires, so. Nice and easy to start. Uh, this 
lot of cars I've driven. Just shut off. It sounded like. Oh, I think I blew the engine. No way. Damn, that that was quick. Yeah, it was on limiter too. That sucks. Let's make sure it's not on fire. Yeah, let's go make sure it's not on fire. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, no fire. Did we window it? I think we just, damn. We put like a really, really soft limiter on it too to try and like keep it together too. Oil coming out somewhere? Yeah, there's oil coming out of somewhere. Right here, Yeah, is there a window? No. It's just a valve cover leaking? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that sucks. It just sounded like it started losing power. Yeah, it was it was in the limiter. I was on the limiter on the straight, and I, and I just felt it go. I heard it. I heard it, started, it sounded like it started breaking up. Almost. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Like it felt smooth. Yeah, I think seized. The engine's got to be seized. No way. I guess we were pushing it a little too far there, bud. <laughs> uh, that was an expensive one, huh? These just have a warranty. One. I thought some of the GM crate motors have warranty. Yeah, I don't know in this situation though. That'll be pretty sick. I don't know if they have a, I I shoved an extra 300 horsepower Sometimes in it. Sometimes they do. Yeah, you think? I'm serious. Some of them they do. Who, whose dad works at GM can get this thing warranted? I knew this thing would burst on the limiter, but we put the we like literally spent so much time on the limiter last week to get this thing to like be such a dog on limit. Well, I think we folded a rod because it won't it won't crank. And it definitely blew up. We heard it at limiter. We were just on the limiter, like, oh, go, 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 go. Like, I was like, oh, the fuck. Big sad. It is what it is. We knew Big we, were, we were pushing this, like, pretty far. I didn't think it was too far, especially because we weren't, we weren't very gripped up coming to that center out either. Like, if it happened, like, if I lug this thing really low and we, we like, clutch kicked it real hard or something and it popped, I would believe it. But we were like unloaded coming around a corner, a limiter. So now the walk of shame or the no. pull of shame. The pull of shame, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Who knows what happened? Look I just up. wanted to make sure it wasn't. Yeah. Um, well, that one didn't last long. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Don't came well, in there well, all tooted up, brother. We were, on the, we were coming around the corner and we just felt like we were on, like almost, basically on liminary, we just felt it go, oh, go, 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 and the car just shut off. And, and now it just won't even, it's seized, I think. I think it just folded a rod, to be honest. So. I think it folded a rod. Donzo? It was like expensive I was day. Yeah, I, I was running. I had a bad luck. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. She was all tooted up coming around turn two, brother. I, I think it full. I think it straight board. reverse cowgirl to cylinder uh, rod. Ripping. Was I ripping? Yeah. Ripping. Yeah. So that one you looked really fast. No, like I that felt slow as fuck. You're like hand out the window. Like. Um, what? Hand out the window because it blew up. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. happened, Jimmy? I think it folded a rod. Like straight okay. reverse cowgirl just. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes, sometimes maybe, maybe shit. shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, how we push this thing? Yeah, not for nothing. Yeah. You what? got your other car here. Yeah, Works good, baby. Hey Jimmy, I don't want to rub salt on a wound, but does this car have E36 axles? M3 axles? Yeah. <laughs> I know every time you'll show your party now. Yeah, it does it. It's locked up pretty bad. What do you think, Josh? 
I don't know. This is uh, kind of short-lived. I'm kind of sad for you, honestly. I've blown up more LSs than SRs at this point, though. So that's sick. Wait, you blew more than one, more than th No, I've never blown an SR up before, but I blew this up. So. Oh, shit. It is what it is. God's motor or some, something like that. Right, well, I'm happy I brought an extra car. Only that sucks is half the cars on grid are Pro 2 cars. So <laughs> it doesn't have as much of a fighting shot anymore since this track is, is pretty fast. But uh, at least I get to drive. At least I still get to drive, so it's good. All right, let's figure out gearing. definitely faster the thing f but this car is so much easier to put in the zone like i was able to put the car wherever i wanted that whole run like i was sitting there i was like oh wow this track is a lot easier than i remember i just got to figure out how to get this in to keep up with the fast cars that that it sucks it's not a skill thing you're just playing catch up so you never know how fast you are until you tandem with someone and you're like ah okay that's what this puts me <laughs> this car and that thing is a proper project so I want to really really want to see how this thing holds up against the pro chassis you know some tracks are just level the playing field but let's we'll see if the crew can hang to see is it 
Steve, Dave, for everyone though. I could hear him like on the limiter on that same section I'm on, so it worked out really well. I'm, I'm happy I've been able to keep up with a lot of the pro cars as long as I do all of the right perfect things. No hesitation, I picked the right perfect line. My entries and the first two corners, I am on everyone, like consistently, happily, no hesitation. I I don't know what you got from the outside, but I had like the GoPro is hard to tell closer, but I've had some ones when I was just straight pushing and it felt good, I feel confident. The only thing I'm screwing up is I need to find a way to, I need to back off sooner so I could keep my, speed up in this weird in the weird long straights because if I mess up that line at all even if I try to mimic the line in front of me sometimes it just doesn't my car can't handle it because it's at the edge of the wheel speed and grip it'll just straighten up it is very 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 tricky you guys saw a lot of cars in practice straight up even the pro car straightening yeah. up no. it's wild everyone's struggling to figure the track out it's just that long straight it's just real it's awkward it's just a tri very tricky it is track. and like if you snap through this like you snap back right too quickly you, you just snap and you're like, fuck. You know, you, you know instantly. Your, you're you just like. all your momentum. I think we actually have a shot in the coupe, which is hilarious. The fact that it's actually holding its own. It's not going to be easy at all because I cannot make a single mistake. But it's nice to know I have a shot. E36 was supposed to be the weapon. And unfortunately, the engine locked up. What happened? We don't know. I didn't pull logs yet. I just don't care right now. <laughs> like, I just want to enjoy my day. I blew up. I hopped in this car and I just got some drift therapy. That's a Monday problem. Right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I fucking unstrap that bitch while we're going on the highway and just let it go. No. We'll leave that in Lake Not Erie. The Not the Hellcat. No. This car doesn't want to live. Uh, we, you know what it is? Like, we knew that we were pushing this pretty, like, pretty far. I didn't think it would die that w in that manner. I didn't think we were pushing that at all. From from the numbers that other people make, I didn't think we were much either. It just sounds whatever. It is what it is. We'll pull it apart next week. We'll see what's wrong with it. We'll learn from it. I don't know. I, I think I don't I don't think it was an oil pressure issue. I don't think it was I literally think the engine just let go. I think it was just just I don't know. It'll see another day. We'll It'll come back stronger. It's a shame. I was really hoping to go 36 and 36 with LZ this weekend, but Man, yeah. now I'm gonna have to fucking do my due diligence <laughs> in doing this thing. But what what I'm what I'm trying to I'm not to me, this weekend is more practice than anything. I'm not here to yeah. to go crazy. I, I, I've been using all of today as practice, like just practicing random stuff because we have a very, very important competition coming up very short, which we still have to talk about that I need to be ready for. And this weekend is just practice for that. So fun comp with the boys. Anything else you want to say? Because I don't know. I'm rambling on at this point. I'm, I'm exhausted. Over it. I'm over it. I'm heartbroken right now. Yeah. Expensive day. A lot of work.
Well, whatever. I, it's crazy it survived fucking Lime Rock, but not this we just skip on the beat at Lime Rock, that's why I'm pissed. Let's get some food, let's eat about it. Turn the video Everything's here. great, baby. Holy <laughs> fine. Just another day. So you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Steve? Have a great night.